Okay. An RO Metal E KL203P. They get warm. They do between 1 and 150 watts. And keying up um, into a dumbing load for about 10 minutes at 100 watts. It got very hot. Um, so if you're a bit of a talker, motor mouth if you want to call it that, uh, these things you'll kill them. Okay. The heat sink on these is not enough to keep them cool. They need a fan. I stuck an 80 millimeter fan on it with a sh protective shroud so if anything falls on it, it's not going to stuff the fan. Um, I've made it so if I just want to use the preamp for sandbagging, the fan don't come on. But if I turn the, the amplifier on, you get fan. Okay. Um, I've used the plug here. So if the fan ever dies, I can replace it. Put the plug on the new fan, bolt it on, plug it in, and I'm off. I don't have to pull the amplifier apart to do it. So I run it to this switch the switch that doesn't have power all the time, use a multimeter, you'll find it. So when you're using the amp, it's going to keep it cool and it does. It keeps it, it's, it's very mild compared to what it was without the fan. It's nice and cool and it'll make it last a lot longer. Um, I also replaced the um, heat, heat, sink, heat, heat sink paste. Um, I've got this stuff I've had for a while um, that I use for finals, for anything that needs heat, heat sink compound. This stuff's pretty good. And you get a lot of it. Um, I've gone through two of those working on radios. But this is a nice mod. So if you've got one of these, cheap mod, take about 45 minutes to do it. And you'll be happy as Larry. It'll last a lot longer. Some people will run these up to 200 watts. They will go to 200 watts on sideband, but they get bloody hot. So if you do buy one of these, pull it apart if you know what you're doing. Replace, clean it up. Replace the heat sink compound and put some nice clean stuff on it because they don't put enough and it's really cheap compound. And you'll be happy with this amplifier, mobile or a base. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. Enjoy.